Hello and welcome. This is Aileen Ellis, and today we're going to talk about solving a network diagram using an online whiteboard. On the left half of my screen will be my sample question, and then on the right half of my screen will be my practice online whiteboard, and you can see I've gone to mba.com, and they have a free online whiteboard with live chat to help you so you can practice using an online whiteboard. So I'm looking for which activities are on the critical path, and I have a table. Do I would prefer to have a diagram? So I'm gonna come over here, click on AA, and write start. Then I'm gonna draw a line from start, and I can see over here, start is a predecessor only to A. So I'm gonna put activity A here, and activity A is three days in duration. From here, I see A is a predecessor to B, to C, and to D, which means I'm gonna have three lines coming out of A. So one line is going to go to B, and B is five days long. Another line is going to go to C, and C is two days long, the last line is going to go to D, and D is seven days long. Great, then I see B and C are both a predecessor to E. So I know B and C are both a predecessor to E, and E is one day long. I see that C is a predecessor to F. So I'm gonna have a line coming out of C going to F, and F is two days long. And then I see D, E, and F all go to finish. So way, at, way, at, way out here, I'm writing the word finish, and I'm just gonna show you the pencil. So E goes to finish, F goes to finish, and D goes to finish. So now I have my diagram, and I'm going back to the question, which activities are on the critical path? I look at answer A, B, C, F. Well, that's not even a path, and it doesn't have A on it. A has to be on the critical path because it's the only way through. So I know answer A, B, C, F is wrong. Then I go to answer B, A, B, E. So A, to B, to E, and I'm just changing my color to help you a little bit. But A, three plus five is eight plus one is nine. So that path is nine days. I go A, C, F, three plus two is five, plus two is seven. Well, seven is less than nine, so that path can't be the critical path, so that's wrong. I won't even write the number down. Then I go to answer D, A to D, three days plus seven days. Well, three days plus seven days, that's 10 days. So I know A to D, 10 days is the longest path. So I'm coming back over here, A to D, are the activities on the critical path. So that's how I would solve this for the PMP exam. I'm gonna show you a couple shortcuts, decide if you're interested or not. So I showed you this diagram over here, but let's talk about how I would really do it. So if it was me, I probably, and let me just, um, I'll do the pencil and I'll use red. Okay. I probably wouldn't bother writing start down. I probably wouldn't bother drawing that line. I probably wouldn't bother writing finish down. So again, you have to decide what's going to work best for you. You saw a few glitches as I was doing this because I wanted it not to be perfect I wanted it to look like it would really look like if I was doing this on the PMP exam. I hope this helped you. Again, this is Aileen.